Hi everyone, Caroline here. Right, look what we have got. Stamptagus has put a spell on us. <laughs> and this is the Halloween set. Uh, just look at this witch. I'm going to take it out of this packet in case of reflection. Okay, this, this is the brand new collection. Launching on the 2nd of October on Create and Craft. Can you see that? You've got the beautiful artwork, as always, unique artwork from Nicola Elliott, who is the uh, owner of Stamptagus and the artist. And look at this cat. <laughs> and look at the, um, the broom as well. It's even got a face on it. Can you see that? Oh, that's brilliant. Little baby asleep, spiders and drinks and potions and um and cups and she's what she's done she's put hocus pocus i need and then she's given you different um sentiments to put under it like to, uh, i need to focus i need coffee tea which is brew vodka prosecco wine gin and uh, different receptacles that she can put in her hand. Because if you can see here, the hand is empty, ready for putting a wand in, her broom in, or uh, the uh, uh, Prosecco glass here, or wine glass, and the potion bottle that she can hold here. Um, oh, so many things you can play with this. It's absolutely brilliant. And also on the show, you, there will be a, a five by seven inch stencil as well. And um, this is going to be fun to use because uh, it's got an aperture here that you can use for inside or you can use this one to brush outside. I'm going to have a play with that today. So let's let's get started. Um, obviously, you can come on to the... Um, Stamptagious group on Facebook and I will put the link for that in the description and um, if you would like this set you can contact Nicola Elliott as well uh, on there so again I'll, I'll put links in so I'm going to work on this which is a five by seven piece of card and I'm going to put the stencil on here like that and under it I'm going to put my landscape one like this and I'm going to put a moon here because that's what I want behind Gonna get our witch out. I don't need that yet. Don't need that yet. I just don't need that yet. All that. Do that after. So I want to get her inside but a dress just a little bit below the stencil because we're going to have it looking like she's in a, a, a sort of a, a misty smoke let's get that on there and i'm going to stamp her down oops gotta make sure she's uh She's not moved. If you're worried, add a bit of tape. I'll do that to show you. Just a little bit of low tech tape to keep that down. Let's make sure she's in there. Yeah, she's okay in there. Stamp her up.
if you are new to stamped hair just and never seen them before they are really really unique stamps and um like i said they are they are all hand drawn there's nothing pre-made about them it is it's her own unique art Always difficult sometimes to to get when there's a stencil in the way. I'm just going to pull that down a little bit. Just get that bit in there. stencil and wipe my stump stencil back on there can you see how the dress now looks to be uh, sort of floating like that this is a magnetic mat that I have so if you're wondering and I'm going to get my distress oxides in the purples. I've got Dusty Concord, Wilted Violets. Oh, no, I've done away with that now. Anyway, Dusty Concord. Oh, I need my. Uh, landscape underneath and I need my moon over her there because that's that moon is behind her there like that oops So this is the sky behind and I'm going to go with the uh, wilted violet now. And I'm just going to sort of darken up from the bottom of it like that. Just around that moon. Can you see that behind her? Just going to get um, my finger dauber. No, I'm not actually going to put any ink on it. I'm just going to just go around the edge. Because there's already ink here, I'm just going to blend that in for the moon, like that. Okay. And 
then with some water and a brush, let me get my brush. Forgot to get my brush out. Spray a little bit of water. water just to bleach it out some clouds like this in the sky and if, if you follow my videos you you will have seen me do this before and it just makes it that little bit a little bit more creepy I'll dry that off so it's they're just like in the background there nothing too dominant take this off now and just give that a wipe And then I've got black soot here. And I'm just going to go along here now. Bring that in a bit darker. Like that. So when I take that away, can you see what the aperture's done? It's giving it all looking like you're looking into a bit of a Oh, I don't know what do they call them. Um, they go through like a, a time tunnel. Um, I forgot the name of it. It might come back to me. But she's sort of come out of the night. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, my black and I'm going to edge like that around just to take away some of that white not a dark black just the rest of the ink that's on my brush If you feel it's not quite black enough inside just go back with your uh, aperture 
stencil like that and do it a little bit darker if you wish. I'll go back in. I'm going to get my finger dauber. Just put too much on. Just take that edge in. Of this fabulous dressing. How gorgeous is that? Nicola comes up with these amazing ideas. I think this has to be my most favourite um, Halloween set ever. And I know that our Nicola loves Halloween. She really loves Halloween. So I'm going to go with the green now. Let's see how bright this green is. Perfect. And I want to do a hat in the big brim in black because a typical witch's hat is always black really, isn't it? So that's going to be black. Just leaving a little bit of uh, light there. Again with the purple. Down there. Her skin green. I think we'll do a hair purple as well. Um, I'm going to get a stronger purple. Just use my um, my pro marker. Yeah, this is a stronger purple. I love this long hair, it's brilliant. How cool is that? get my 
my yellow pearl marker out. Putting these spoons and stars in the yellow. To shade her face a little bit. Just a little bit of shading. I think this is a darker purple. Yes, it is. So we'll be able to shade down the hair as well. Do some shades. Looks good, doesn't she? Okay. Put those on there. Cool. And I want to put something in a hand there, so I'm back to my stamping platform. And, um, oh, spoilt for choice. I think I'll have, uh, I think I'll have the, uh, the potion bottle in her hand. Hubble bubble, toil and trouble. What is she brewing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's that? Look at the eye in it. Is it is it eye of Todd or eye of Newt or something? They say. <laughs> I don't really know the witch's terms. I must turn them up. And um Spider. This spider is coming down here. Actually, I'm going to have it hanging from a hat there. Oh, it's such fun as this set. It really is. You just, you just want to keep on playing and playing with it. Time you look at something you get a different idea so I'll pop that back and I'm going to get this um, sentiment that says witch's brew and I'm going to put that there witch's brew Really bright green. I want a really bright green. Let's see what this is. Like that. Let me just uh, move that to one side. Pop that back on there, and I'm just going to add some glitter now because I. 
I want that, especially on the brew side of it. in here and then it's all coming up like that and I want some on her dress like that In the uh, in the bag. There she is. Fabulous. I've cut that colour that spider in in black. His eyes white. Mm. Brilliant. And I'm just going to get my um, fan brush. I don't want too much uh, on it, but just just a little bit to give it a bit of a a loop to it. I've not done much on it because I've let the uh, distress oxide dry. I should have done that before, really. Right, let's get this card made. A matte layer of purple and black. If you're on TikTok, I'm on there. Uh, under Caroline Crafting. And you can follow me on there with the inspiration and cards I post. And of course, my YouTube channel, uh, Caroline Crafting. I'll put the links below for everything. Free to subscribe and share. It does help. But can you see how that metallic uh, purple has just brought that out, hasn't it? Really nice.
have it. How cute and how spooky. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed that. And, uh, you know, if, like I said, if you do like this set, um, you know, join the Stamptagious group and contact Nicola Elliott. Or on the 2nd of October, it will be on Create and Craft. And you can get it there if you remember there. And also with the stencil as well, they, they're all available as well with the... Um, with the collection and it won't be just this collection uh either there's a christmas there's going to be a christmas collection and i will be doing a, a video uh of the christmas collection so keep tuned for that it'll be um probably sometime next week but i will i'll get that done thanks very much for watching bye bye <laughs>